Hi and hello to everyone. We'll, in this video, we'll discuss about the Fourier transform of uh, two signals. One is the cos omega ct, and next we'll be seeing about the sin omega ct. Okay. So, what is Fourier transform? Fourier transform is nothing but you will convert a time domain signal, which is x of t. By taking Fourier transform, we will move into the frequency domain, right? Either we can say capital X of omega or capital X of f. Right. You can express the result in terms of omega or f. So, conversion of time domain to frequency domain using a transform, that transform is called Fourier transform. What about the IFT? IFT is the inverse Fourier transform, that is from the frequency domain, we will move into the time domain. Right? Okay. Now we move to the problem. So, this is a uh, problem is uh, x of t cos omega c t. Right? We know that cos omega c t can be expressed using this expression uh, e power j omega c t plus e power minus j omega c t by 2. Okay. So, this is the Fourier transform and we are not going to use the state Fourier transform formula. We are going to use Fourier transform pairs. Right? Okay. For that, uh, we will be understanding few of the properties in the time domain. So, this is the time domain. This side we have the time domain. Taking Fourier transform, we move into frequency domain. Okay, so uh, the Fourier transform of uh, one, the Fourier transform of one is two pi del omega, two pi del omega, right? So what about the e power j omega c t? We are using property known as frequency shifting property. We are using a property known as frequency shifting property okay so for e power j omega c t it is for 1 it is 2 pi del omega c so assume that you have 1 here so 2 pi del omega del omega right so exponential in time domain will result in shift in frequency domain so omega gets shifted to omega minus omega c similarly e power minus j omega c t the Fourier transform would be here it is minus omega c so we have 2 pi del omega plus omega c okay now, your cos omega c t is nothing but a combination of these two. So, okay, right. So, for e power j omega c t, I can write this 2 pi del omega minus omega c, e power minus j omega c t, I can write 2 pi del omega plus omega c and divided by 2 is here. So, I put it here. So, 2, 2 gets cancelled. So, this is the Fourier transform. <coughs> this is the Fourier transform of cos omega c t, right. And I am expressing the result in form of uh, omega right in the form of omega okay so uh, i am expressing right and we and we can, we can also express in the form of f also right for that what i am doing is you should be knowing these properties del of a f you can write as 1 by magnitude of a del of f okay right so i can write this omega as 2 pi f and omega c as 2 pi f c taking 2 pi outside so it is 2 pi f of f minus f c similarly here also i am taking 2 pi outside right Okay, so using this property, del of a f becomes 1 by magnitude of a del of f, del of 2 pi f minus f c. So, I can bring this, this is your a, 2 pi is your a, so pi by a, okay, del of f minus f c, okay. So, pi pi gets cancelled, so this is what we have. So, this is the Fourier transform of cos omega c t in the form of f, right, okay. Now, we will plot the spectrum, we will plot the spectrum. Okay, again I have repeated the results here. So, uh, cos omega c t, this is the Fourier transform in the form of omega, this is the Fourier transform in the form of f. Okay, so in the time domain, we know this is the cos omega c t, it's a cosine signal, okay, cos signal. So, what about the spectrum? We know that uh, this del of uh, at omega equal to omega c, this term becomes 1. At omega equal to minus omega c, this term becomes 1, right? Okay, so... Uh, only two frequency component exist one at omega c one at omega c at omega c what is the magnitude pi so this term is this okay and uh, this term is this right at omega equal to minus omega c the magnitude is pi and i can also represent using in terms of f also okay fourier transform you can either say in terms of x omega or x of f in x of f means 
the spectrum would be here it would be like 1 by 2 okay at f is equal to if i put in place of f fc this become del of 0 del of 0 is 1 so it becomes 1 by 2 at f is equal to fc the magnitude is 1 by 2 similarly at put f is equal to minus fc if i put here in place of f minus fc minus fc plus fc becomes 0 so del of 0 is 1 so at minus fc is 1 by 2 okay so this is the expression for fourier transform uh, of cos omega ct either in terms of omega or in terms of f okay right now this is the spectrum of them now we will see about the cos omega ct I mean, we will see the next problem which is sin omega ct. We know that for sin omega ct, I can write it as e power j omega ct minus e power minus j omega ct by 2j, right. Again, using the same uh, shifting properties we have discussed just now, we can uh, write it in like this, okay, we have just discussed, right. So, in place of e power j omega ct, I can write 2 pi del omega minus omega c. In place of e power minus j omega ct, I can write minus 2 pi del omega plus omega c divided by 2j. Okay, so what happens? 2, 2 will get cancelled and we have j term in the denominator. j term in the denominator, okay, uh, you can write it like this 2, 2 will get cancelled, right? So j term in the denominator goes to the numerator, it becomes minus j pi del of omega minus omega c minus pi del of omega plus omega c bring this minus inside or I mean take pi omega or j pi outside bring minus inside it becomes del of omega plus omega c minus del of omega minus omega c okay right okay so this is the Fourier transform of sin omega ct in form the terms of omega right now if I am expressing in terms of f what I have to do just in place of omega you substitute 2 pi f in omega c 2 pi f c take 2 pi outside so del of a t uh, so this 2 pi will come to the denominator pi pi will get cancelled so this is the Fourier transform of uh, sin omega c t in terms of f okay now oh, I have written both the results here okay so this is the Fourier transform of uh, sin omega c t in terms of uh, omega and this is the Fourier transform of uh, sin omega ct in terms of f. Okay. Now uh, we know that uh, uh, yes. Okay. So this is your sin omega ct in time domain. I have sketched the sin omega ct spectrum. And what about the spectrum in frequency domain? First, we will deal with the omega, right? Okay. In, when omega is equal to omega c, this term becomes zero. So del of zero. So the uh, so the amplitude is minus j pi at omega c it is minus j pi at omega is equal to minus omega c in place of omega you substitute minus omega c you will get the magnitude i mean uh, the amplitude as j pi so this is the spectrum since we have a complex quantity we have we can represent any complex number in terms of magnitude and phase right so what about the magnitude we know the magnitude of j magnitude of j pi j pi is pi magnitude of j pi is that also pi okay so at omega c the magnitude would be pi at minus omega c the magnitude would be pi what about the phase phase is nothing the angle right okay the phase of j term the phase of j term is 90 degree the phase of minus j term is minus 90 degree okay so we have minus j at omega c minus j at omega c right so at omega c the angle is minus 90 at then we have plus j at you can see it here we have plus j at minus omega c for j it is plus 90 okay this is the phase spectrum right now again we will be representing the sin omega c t again in terms of f this is the spectrum we have okay so uh, what you can see here when f is equal to f c it become del of 0 del of 0 is 1 so it is minus j by 2 when f is equal to minus fc that is this point when the frequency is equal to minus fc so del of 0 is 1 so it becomes j, j by 2 similarly as we discussed 
the magnitude of uh, j by 2 is 1 by 2 the magnitude of minus j by 2 is also 1 by 2 so this is the magnitude spectrum and this is the phase spectrum that is the phase of j by 2 is 90 degree the phase of minus j by 2 is minus 90 degree okay okay so these are the, this is the explanation regarding the fourier transform of cos omega ct and sin omega ct thanks for listening